Hello everyone, I'm Simon Toskin, joined with the Buff Pro, and we're back with more of the glorious Dr. Phil. Dr. Phil. Glorious Dr. Phil. Woo! Love it. Riding the Dr. Phil for the train us for as long as we can because people are jumping on the train with us. I got a new student. We got PewDiePie making Dr. Phil videos. We got some writer on PewDiePie named Power Cynical making them now too. It's great. But here's a picture of young Dr. Phil, and woo! Sexy fine. Man. Look at that face. Look at look at that yeah. hairline. Little, little Phil. Little Phil? Little Phil. <laughs> little Phil. He's got hair on there. <laughs> and also our camera's in focus. Ah. Yeah. We did it. Today on the React Couch, we're going to a Dr. Phil episode. A pretty new one. I think they're a couple. Uh, ah. A woman and her husband and then the woman's boyfriend who is also with the church and counseled her. You guys recommended it to us. You guys told Buff Pro on Twitter about it and uh, we looked into it and it's pretty good. Buckle up because it's a wild ride, Dr. Baby. Phil's gonna let him have it. <laughs> I have been living in hell for the past 12 years. You are the biggest liar. Mother's you could great. lie to Satan and convince no. him something that was Charles, blue you know was what? red. <laughs> so, so far, you know, that husband and wife right there looks like a perfect uh, relationship. Yeah. You know, uh, I felt like I was part of the family in the back seat listening to my parents argue or something. Yeah. <laughs> I've left Charles 19 times. God! What? Dang! 19 times! And Ooh. she's gone back to him every time. Every time. I can't believe it. You know, he's, he, he just has a, a, a way. Yeah. You know, he's got that. <laughs> I love. She will not stop, and every time I try to talk to you, she interrupts with her version of the truth. Like, I, I don't know who to like going into these things. I don't know who to root for. Like I just hate everybody by the time we're done with it. <laughs> and I think Dr. Phil does too. Yeah. <laughs> Charles has been very abusive. Once, he literally dumped me on the freeway. And I... What? <laughs> <laughs> <Is that Coach>? <laughs> On the freeway? First off, I'm not too sure how he got his hand in there. <laughs> <laughs> Sally is dating another man, and it makes me physically weak. I feel like I'm having a heart attack from all the pain and stress that she's putting me through. Dude's in the hospital. I know. <laughs> <laughs> what, was that after the freeway battle? I don't <laughs> I'm done with Charles. So far, relationship seems 100. Yeah. Just. <laughs> I don't know why they had to go to Dr. Phil to sort this, sort this out. Like, right. hey, random guy on the street, this is our relationship. What do you think we should do? I don't know. End it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now, you say that Sally is a horrible person, and you say you want out. So this could be the shortest interview I've ever done. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's in there. He knows. <laughs> I, mean, we were, I think we, we've watched enough Dr. Phil that we're almost on the same wavelength. Now. Yeah, I, I, absolutely. Yeah, Dr. Phil, just tell him to end it. He's like, look, this is going to be quick, real quick. Here we go. Strangling somebody is not a mistake. That's I didn't like attempted deliberately murder. deliberately try to kill you. That's it. I was, I was trying to overpower you. Were you were measuring my neck? What were you doing? He's not deliberately trying to kill you, just, you know, you know, try to choke you a little bit, get you to call him daddy and all that. It's a safe word. <laughs> <laughs> My wife is one of the most Oop. foremost ambassadors oh. against domestic violence in the country today, and she's sitting out there right now. I can see steam coming out of her ears. Oh! <laughs> got his wife out there. He's, he's knife hand his wife right now. She's got steam coming yeah. out of her ears. She's steaming? Is she a robot? Ooh, she's about to Voltron on him. She's having to remind you of it, and you're admitting it as if it was nothing. She, she see some steam coming out of her ears? I see it a little bit. Yeah, a little steam. She's like, oh, dude. Like, yeah, I like they, they got her mic'd up and ready, oh, too. Dude, yeah, always. Yeah, you know. Either that she's just real loud. <laughs> <laughs> That's not how I feel about it at all, and uh, no, no disrespect to your wife. No, you damn sure don't want to do that. No, I damn sure don't want to do that as well. <laughs> oh! 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 Nah, you don't want to do that, homie! <laughs> Woo, die. And she just told her, ah, oh, that's my boo. Go let him give me a little choke later, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Robin, what's the number one tool of an abuser? Isolation. Okay, I'm an abuser. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> Uh, he said it and just it, it just hung out there. <laughs> I think it's like I got the other guy out there. All right, God, hey. wait, wait, where is the other guy? I'm considered one of the elders of the synagogue. When I first met Sally, he was under more of the guise of a counselor. Eventually, you start talking about enough personal stuff. I'm no longer your counselor anymore. <laughs> oh! <laughs> 
that how that works? Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, you go to you go to like a uh, therapist. You start telling me your personal stuff. Suddenly, you're banging. Uh, <laughs> I, I worry about that at the confessionals and at church. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> What happened there is the old classic thing that people have been doing since like freaking high school. There's a there's a couple together, they're having trouble, and she goes off and talks, you know, vents about what's going on, and that one dude moves in, like, oh yeah, I understand, girl. Oh, tell me all about it. Be, be, I'm your shoulder to cry on, and the whole time he's like trying to move in. Oh yeah. It's like douchebag move, really. Is it is. It is the classic douchebag move. <laughs> Well, Netflix, and then I'll chill and take a, take advantage of your emotional instability. <laughs> You're a douchebag. He's dangerous. Charles certainly knows that he's got no shot with me around. <laughs> oh! What? <laughs> Calling him out. Charles knows he got no shot when I'm here. I always still don't know his name. Being smooth. His name is Smooth. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. Alan, come on out. Alan's his name. Alan. Alan, that I don't know what kind of a person whoa, whoa, you think. Whoa. <laughs> whoa! <laughs> All right. So what I was about to say, the door opened up for Alan. Complete silence. It said this one woman up here in the corner that was kind of like... <laughs> my bad, my bad. Look, sit down. I, sit. I, I just want to tell him I don't sit like him. He, he, down. Has doc, he has a gun. Sit down. <laughs> <laughs> look at him! He's got a smug look at his face. He's got a gun. He's like with the mafia or something. Look at that suit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're crazy. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> you're funny, huh? You think you're really funny? No, I'm being really serious. Stop. How you doing? Good. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> They're just trying to argue. I was like, shut up, man. How, how you doing? I promise not to act like a jerk. <laughs> uh... I probably have to act like a jerk while I'm being a jerk. Yeah. Gee. You say you're the second highest holy person in the synagogue next to the rabbi. Well, we go back and forth of who's the holier. <laughs> <laughs> I, I could be the holiest I mean, dude, you know. It's probably me, Doc. But, you know. <laughs> He's got that look on his face. <laughs> well, he was educated in it. I've got it through bloodline. I'm a little puzzled. <laughs> He just can't. Dr. Phil just can't. Dr. Phil can't. Oh. Yeah, here we go. But look at that bling, Dr. Phil. He got it on the wrist. Damn. What is that? Just like, is that a G Wagon? He's like, <laughs> a gold brick on his wrist. I'm sure the other members of the synagogue there would like to know that they can have their wives or daughters go to counselors there and that maybe they get flipped into a romantic relationship. Well, you kind of got it wrong. No, he doesn't. Sure he's just like, Dr. Phillips is like making sense. The guy's like, you're wrong. I was just waiting for Dr. Phillips to like slap him at the chair and be like, <laughs> Come on, Dr. Phil, I'm not dating all them. <laughs> I'm not. Just his wife. I'm just, yeah, just, <laughs> just, <laughs> <laughs> and I wish that I could do something to change to have her in my life. I wanted to grow old with her. Okay, you? hold on. Stop. I'm going to have to ask you to leave. You are being inappropriate, <laughs> and I am not going to have you here mocking <laughs> the situation. <laughs> Kicking the dude out. Oh, man. <laughs> Kicking the second holiest dude in the church Ew, off the stage. Wow. If that that's not okay, crazy. then you go out the back door. Either one. You just you <laughs> take your choice. <laughs> oh, dude, dude, trying to give Doc some more lip, dude. Yeah. They, they got the building then. I don't care, dude. Yeah, you just <laughs> sit there, you can get the hell out. Thank you. Thank you, help. Jesus. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Ah, Praise get Doc. Get that man off the stage. Get him out of here. Send him to the ranch. <laughs> That's a ranch! <laughs> oh, man! Conversation with your rabbi, and I'm going to find out if that's what he said. <laughs> Dr. Phil says he's going to go, he, he's going to go dig some digging. I'm going Ooh. to your chair. You're about to, you're about to lose your job. Yeah, I'm going to holler at your rabbi, homie. <laughs> that's right. You've been together 12 years. You've had sex once. That's not intimacy. One time? Uh-uh. <laughs> doc, you didn't have to say that on national God TV, Doc. Damn. damn, Doc. No wonder the dude's so high strong. <laughs> Jeez. No wonder he got, she got two left eight lanes. <laughs> He's got so much strength built up. <laughs> I feel, I feel bad for him, but now, now it all, like that one statement, it just like puts a nice bow on everything and you understand the whole relationship at that point. Yeah. It's just like, okay, yeah. well, that makes a lot of things really obvious. Yeah. 
Yeah. This has been the React Couch, Dr. Phil, and I'm I am emotionally drained after that one. Send me to the ranch. <laughs> Please. <laughs> You're funny, huh?